hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to start with mosfet biasing so before discussing mosfet biasing we have to discuss the types of mosfet so there are two types of mosfet enhancement mosfet and depletion mosfet so these are the transfer characteristics of mosfets uh this transfer characteristic is for enhancement mosfet and this is a transfer characteristic of depletion mosfet so here you can see that in enhancement mosfet the mosfet conducts only when vgs which is gate to source voltage is greater than threshold voltage right but here the case is different first of all let's discuss what happens in enhancement mosfet and what happens in depletion mosfet in enhancement mosfet the channel does not exist initially and is developed by applying the voltage at the gate terminal whereas in depletion mosfet the channel is permanently fabricated at the time of construction of the mosfet so that's the reason why when vgs is equals to 0 that means when gate to source voltage is 0 at that time also we are having some amount of drain current because the channel already exist in depletion mosfet right so we can say that when gate to source voltage is 0 then the drain current is not equal to 0 so for vgs negative that means it operates in depletion mode and when vgs is positive then it operates in enhancement mode but in enhancement mode the case is quite different here the mosfet only operates when vgs is greater than vt and then the drain current increases as we increase the gate to source voltage so enhancement mosfet can be biased by using gate by circuit and voltage divider by circuit so here in this video we are going to discuss enhancement mosfet in detail and we will discuss mosfet biasing that is the gate by circuit and voltage divider by circuit in detail before discussing biasing let's first discuss the drain characteristic of mosfet so this is the drain characteristic of mosfet it is a graph between the drain current and drain to source voltage which is vds the mosfet can be used as an amplifier in saturation region only because small change in vgs which is gate to source voltage can produce proportionally a large change in drain current in saturation region so when fet is in saturation region the drain current is constant with respect to drain to source voltage but drain current varies with vgs which is gate to source voltage so let's first discuss the condition for saturation region so for enhancement mosfet we already know the first condition which is vgs should be greater than vt here vgs is the gate to source voltage and vt is the threshold voltage and this condition is required to operate the mosfet and the second condition is that the drain to source voltage should be greater than and or equal to the gate to source voltage minus threshold voltage so this will be the condition to in order to operate mosfet in saturation region now if the mosfet is in saturation region it will work as an amplifier and the formula for drain current is given by id is equals to kn by 2 vgs minus vt whole square this formula is basically for nmos and for the pmos the threshold voltage is negative so that's why we consider mod or absolute value of the threshold voltage now here kn and kp are the transconductance parameters of the mosfet and they are given by kn is equals to mu n cox W by L. This mu n is the mobility. C O X is the capacitance. W is the width, and L is the length of the channel. In the similar way, K P is given by mu P, C O X, W by L. So that's all about the formulas. Now let's discuss the gate by circuit in detail. So guys that's the gate by circuit here vgg is the gate voltage 
the positive terminal of vgg is connected to the gate because positive gate voltage is needed for channel formation here ig which is the gate current it should be zero because here the dioxide layer or silicon dioxide layer is present between gate and channel which acts as an insulator we already covered this topic in my previous video now so this is the drain to source voltage this is gate to source voltage and from here the drain current flows which is ibs now apply kvl in this loop we get minus vgg applying kvl in this loop minus vgg plus ig into rg plus vgs is equals to zero so here vgs is equal to vgg because uh, this current is zero ig is zero so substituting here ig is equals to zero we get minus vgg plus vgs is equals to zero from here we get vgs is equals to vgg now applying kvl in this particular loop we get minus vdd plus ids rd plus vds is equals to zero from here vds is given by vdd minus ids into me rd so this rd which is the drain resistance is selected such that vds should be greater than vgs minus vd which is the condition for saturation of mosfet right thus the mosfet operates in saturation region so guys that's the voltage divided by circuit of mosfet so i have discussed these biasing circuits of bjt in my previous videos if you haven't watched those videos so please watch the detailed videos of these uh, voltage divided by circuit and uh, the self by circuit in detail now let's calculate the thevenin equivalent of these resistance uh, and we get rg which is equals to r1 into r2 upon r1 plus r2 that is these two resistances are in parallel and also we have to calculate the thevenin voltage for the circuit uh, guys i have explained this detailed concept in my previous video of voltage divider by circuit in bjt if you're not clear with this topic so uh, this voltage that means uh, vg voltage is given by vdd into r2 upon r1 plus r2 so that's the gate voltage in voltage divider by circuit now uh, let's calculate the vgs voltage which is gate to source voltage it is nothing but vg minus vs so gate voltage minus source voltage is vgs now let's substitute the value of vg which is vdd into r2 upon r1 plus r2 minus vs and here this vs which is the source voltage vs right so vs is nothing but here the current flowing ids and here also ids current is flowing because mosfet is operating in saturation region now this vs is nothing but ids into rs so let's substitute the given value we get vdd into r2 upon r1 plus r2 minus ids into rs rs is the source resistance now the values of the resistance r1 and r2 are selected such that the vgs should be greater than vt which is the condition for mosfet to operate right vgs should be greater than vt now applying kvl in this particular loop we get vdd minus vdd plus idrd 
प्लस वी डी एस प्लस आई डी इन टू मे आर एस फ्रॉम हेयर लेट्स कैलकुलेट वी डी एस वी डी एस शुड बी इक्वल टू वी डी डी माइनस टेकिंग आई डी एस कॉमन वी गेट आई डी एस आर डी प्लस आर एस सो हेयर आर डी एंड आर एस आर सेलेक्टेड सच दैट Uh, VDS should be greater than VGS minus VT, and hence the MOSFET operates in saturation region. Now let's discuss one more case of source self by circuit, which I am not going to discuss here. Why? Because the source self by circuit cannot be used to bias the enhancement MOSFET because. it has vgs is equals to 0 and thereby the channel cannot form or conduction cannot occur so let me first show you the circuit diagram for source self by circuit so i have already explained you detailed concept of source self by circuit in my previous videos uh, so guys uh, here you can see that here vg is equals to 0 uh, that is gate voltage is 0 because of which the channel can, the channel cannot be formed and thus conduction cannot occur so this circuit does not work at all so depletion mosfet can be biased by using any of the three biasing circuits but enhancement mosfet can only be biased by using gate by circuit or voltage divider by circuit so this is the very important point in mosfets I hope this video is helpful to you guys. In my next video, I am going to discuss the numerical problems for the biasing circuits of MOSFET. So please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.